What's up guys and welcome back to LA Noir. This is our first homicide case. The red lipstick murder. We got a promotion. We're not working the traffic desk anymore. Your boy is on the homicide team and uh, let's get to work. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. The werewolf? Is this a serial killer or what are we what are we doing here? I don't know. We're gonna go check it out. I'm excited, man. This is definitely gonna be a little bit more heavy, a little bit more intense. Do you have the address? Police work, but I'm down for it. Yell. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. His mother would be proud of him. Catching all those friends. Got Rusty Galloway here is gonna be our new partner. I'd rather you took the wheel. So far, it seems like kind of a no-nonsense type of guy. Not really much for small talk. I'm not against that. Here we go. Let's get after it. What happened to Rose? Parker wants to choose jobs. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the black dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Well, that sounds like a, a not-so-great side effect. Not going to take lip from my wife, so I'm just gonna kill her. I don't know if that's how the world works, but... Just out the dirt road, detective. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. Sorry about the, uh, little barricade there. Looks like we made it. 9.32 a.m. at the crime scene. We know some sort of an iron was involved, like a tire iron or something. Galloway, you could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. Get used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. He's got to respect that. Standing up to the press. Love to see it, Phelps. Ooh, we've got a long blood splatter. Why is she naked? Pause, sorry to interrupt the episode here, guys, but I wanted to explain this. So basically, 
YouTube doesn't like naked bodies. Obviously, they don't want to see that, even if it's blurred. I've tried this a couple of different ways. Even if I really super pixelate it and blur it, they still do not like it. They definitely take ads off, which is fine. Like it, It's not ideal, but I'm okay with that. But then sometimes it's getting blocked in certain areas, and I want everybody to be able to see these videos. So what I'm going to do is when it shows the body or like the, the nakedness, I'm just going to completely cut to black screen. I'm going to leave the audio in so you guys can hear the dialogue. You guys can hear me talking. You can kind of hear what kind of clues we're getting from this. I'm sorry, it's not ideal, but it's pretty much the only option we have. So I hope you guys understand, and uh, let's get back to it. Trollman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Has the scene been secured? Patrolman Houlihan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. So let's go through everything they've marked so far and then we'll try to find some stuff on our own. So we've got a hairbrush here and a handbag. Nothing too exciting there. Let's check out what's in the handbag. I feel like there's always some some sort of a clue in the handbag. Lipstick? Looks yeah, that's new. lipstick. Can't be the one used on the body. Huh. Nothing else interesting in there. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I saw when we walked up, there's stuff written on the body. We're going to have to check out the body eventually, but I'm thinking maybe we check this stuff out first. What is this? A globe? It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. I mean, can we can we do it? We're just going to have to put, put this together. Up and down to select between the rings and left and right to rotate. Yeah, this is... I mean, we're gonna be able to do it. Keep on going. Right there is it. If we go down one. Oh shoot, no. You can't move the bottom one. You can only move the top ones. There we go. It's complete. What's inside? The Bomba Property of the Bomba Why Club. Table lighter? 626 North Spring Street downtown. We're definitely gonna have to go go check that place out. Some footprints. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Let's take a look at the body then. This is uh... cause of death. Whew. Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stalled. Hmm. F U B B D T E T. What? I don't know what the last word is. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. So we killed her and then took her ring, but it was on the middle finger though. It definitely wasn't, it wasn't a, uh, like a, an engagement ring or anything like that. I mean, this is disgusting. I saw comments of you guys saying that wait till you get to homicide, it's gonna get worse. It, it definitely has. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? That pipe, that lead pipe. Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Tex. I guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bar? Right. Man could die of thirst in a case like this. Sure. Sounds good to me. So we've got uh, some leads here. I mean, I, I, I think going to the restaurant that she stuck, took the, the lighter from is going to be our best bet. Not really a, a motive or anything yet, though. So we'll see, uh, see what we can get into. Going to go to the Bomba Club, nightclub and bar frequented by the murder victim. Any day now, Rusty. One thing you'll get to know about me is I like to move quickly. I like to get stuff done. I don't like to dilly dally. So I'm gonna need you to uh, to step your game up. Woo. Almost hit that cop right there. I get the point. 
See, he gets the point. We don't like to dilly dally, baby. Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. I've been working evidence from BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, Oddshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us alone in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stoom. For some opportunist. Woo! That was not good. Sorry. That's not Instantly totally set that car on fire. The examiner of the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder. It was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand. Stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't. Understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. I mean, we've already we've already gone for it, so we might as well just keep on going, baby. Woo! That was that was sexy. Okay, well, we'll take it. <laughs> We'd already done a little bit of damage. I figured we might as well, well, you know, take it the whole the whole way. We'll be more careful on the next the next time we drive, but um, yeah, I I, I, I kind of doubt that this is related. I, I kind of think it's it's more of a copycat deal here, but I guess you never really know. So the Bomba Club, we made it. Not necessarily in one piece, but we made it. So this is just kind of a a bar, you know, fun little place to get cocktails. It's got like a tropical tiki theme. See what we've got Gentlemen, going on here. What can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. Interesting. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? So she gets served by the Fire owner. Water, I'll stay here. I'm a little part. Pour me three fingers of rye. Where's the hibiscus? I see him oh, back wait, here please. sitting. Can I have another spoon? All posh. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, I'll she's a regular. Soon. Celine is... That's your spirit. Was a... Lovely woman. Jacob Henry. We gotta remember that. That's, that's her husband. So, um... Let's... Let's... Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? See if there's anyone with Not her. At first, Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. This could be a stalker situation. I trust this guy. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Why would you be looking for that? Were you getting bad vibes from him or something? Why, why else would you write that down? 2B8899. Thank you. Dude, that's, I mean, that's, that's a great sign. So that's the person that last had contact with her that we know of so far. Let's talk about the ring. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring. On the large side, larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. 
He just got very shifty. Why are you moving so weird? I don't know that I... I don't know that I trust you. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're gonna tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. Oh, he likes her. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. Guess I always have. The old man never knew about it. So we've got a weird love triangle no happening husband. here. Sure I know Jacob. He was in the core. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. They put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Seems pretty confident there. Was he ever violent with her? Oh, shoot. Celine came in here last night. Got it wrong. She'd taken a slap. They don't live together anymore, so it might not have been him. Thanks, Mr. Huh. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. So there's a mystery man that she met at the bar and kind of developed a relationship with. Her husband was in the army, tends to be a little bit abusive. I mean, I, I could see him coming across the two of them and being mad and taking her out. I could see the, the creepo that she met in the bar taking her out. It also could be this, uh, the, the, whatever you want to call him, the serial killer that we're talking about, the werewolf. Got a couple of different options here. The question is, oh, it should, it looks like it wants us, it wants us to go to the game well, right? Let's go to this game well over here. You find the Let's see if we can figure out where this license plate is from. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. Not sure why we can't get in on. Go ahead and call him up. See we got. Track this license Belt, plate. One, two, four, seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate. Two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, Detective. I'll need to contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Sure. Thanks for your help. All right, so she's gonna radio those into us. Got it. Gonna have to keep an eye out for it, but uh, for now, I guess it's not like us getting getting in or out on that side of the car to the fence. I guess our next where would our next thing be? Let me check our locations. It'd, it'd be the the Henry residence. Let's go check out our house. See if we could find any any signs of foul play or anything. They don't live together anymore. We probably need to go check out where her husband's at as well. Woo, racing the train. Not something you typically want to do, but we made out all right. To be honest, I kind of feel like we should probably keep the uh, the bar owner in mind as well. Feel like he he was pretty. He seemed pretty nice. He seemed like he was genuinely interested in her well-being and stuff. But you know, at the same time, caring like that can uh, can kind of get you in trouble. Is this the house over here, the Henry residence. So this is her house, not his, not Jacob's. Let's see what we've got going on. Certainly hope there's nobody home. This would be weird. Walking into a now dead person's door. house. Wait here a second. Knowing that all the things in here, all the memories and stuff, they're just gonna kinda cease to cease to exist. Oh, a broken window. Huh. So somebody's been here. Side window's been jimmy. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Probably after the murder, maybe covering their tracks? I don't know. Let's see what we can find here. Family burnt to death. Cops say house fire deaths are suspicious. Interesting. Ooh, got a little cutscene here. Husband, wife, and two young children have been killed. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to. 
confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? So this doctor is getting mentally unstable people to burn down houses and... Okay. Man, that's, that's pretty intense. Maybe we'll end up uh, dealing with that at some point. All right, so we're gonna find any evidence we can do. This is creepy. Not only is it a dead person's house, we just had something over here, a shoe? Why is there a shoe over Size here? Size nines, above average for a lady. She got a, some big old feet, bro. She got some honkers. But yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of creepy because not only is this a dead person's house, but it's been ransacked and you don't know for a fact that somebody hasn't been here. This tequila is pretty popular. A lot of people drink it out here in LA. I like some good tequila. Burglar used There's evidence the of the, uh... Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, buster. <laughs> What's this on the fridge? If you sober up, you can find me at apartment 2, so 1050 Jacob Huntley Drive. Problems. It speaks to motive. From Jacob Finds Henry. It still weighs against it being a husband. But Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, fellas. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. All right. I'll try not to. There's a phone over here. He's using that. We can't Hello, check these out. Sounds like we need Question to go talk to the neighbors at some point. Once we're done here. Another shoe on the ground over here. Hmm. Is that a ring box? Further investigate it. Tiffany. Tiffany and Co. This stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. Wonder if that's anything to do with the ring that was stolen from her finger. Looks like we've got a picture over here. A regular Amelia Earhart in her day. The ring looks distinctive. So. But that doesn't look like it's on the middle finger. That looks like it's on her ring finger. That's also on the right hand, whereas the ring that was taken from her was on her left hand. Just it's a hairbrush. Simple. We pick up so many hairbrushes in this game, bro. Some more shoes and stuff. We need to find a size 8 shoe. I haven't found one yet. Champagne by the bedside. All right, I think we've turned... I think we've turned this place out just about. I guess we haven't checked this room. We've got an office back here. What is this? Some flight goggles. Junk. Piano. Books, beer bottles. I mean, I, it's been ransacked, but I think this place was pretty messy to begin with. Okay, he said something about talking to the neighbors. What neighbors are outside? What neighbors you want me to talk to? I guess we could check the out. Oop. Hello. Are you who I want to talk to? It wasn't safe around here anymore. Don't be sketch. Check the backyard. We've got some socks hanging up. We've got a lawnmower over here. Can't go in the shed. It's got to be these these people he was talking about, right? Can I talk to you? LAPD. Oh, we can. Are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss Horgan? Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but. Selena You're creeping. Drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. Ooh. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. 
Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. And she went but to the bar. she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. So they had a, they had a big fight. He gave her a black eye and then he left. Then she left at 10 p.m. She went to the bar. Somebody, but the husband didn't show up Let's to the bar Jacob because the, the owner would have recognized him. Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I, I, I don't think it's Jacob either because the, the owner would have known what Jacob looked like. He would have told us, oh yeah, it was Jacob at the bar that she left with. She left Jacob with a Henry different man. Jacob had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that, she probably deserved it. The skipper says bring him in and keep the hacks off her back for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. I mean, I, I wouldn't say that she deserved it because of the, the situation of her, of her house. But yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting, unless potentially maybe the husband was stalking her or like following her or something like that. And then he saw her leave the bar with somebody else and he chased him down. But then what would have happened to the other person? He would have witnessed the murder. He would have reported it. I don't know. There, there's something going on here and it's it's definitely not not matching up. So this is Jacob Henry's apartment, 10.55 a.m. Going in hard with the, the gats out. Bringing the heat, baby. Let's go. Whew. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, for my RKO, God. pal. You got bigger problems. Why is what he moving? What are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. It's got a vibe that he's moving, right? Let me take a look at what we've got here. The alcoholism illness. No good to me. Kind of goes hand in hand with domestic abuse. Got a football over here. I'm not going to talk to him yet. We've got to be able to find something. Ashtray. Hmm. Lots of alcohol. Seems like both of them were kind of kind of drunks. Kitchen here, telephone. What is this? I'm gonna move the pencil. What? He's got a secret message. This is the first time I've seen this. Okay. Thanks for the offer. I the need you to do something about to my wife. About lady. Thanks for the offer. I need you to... Hmm. Do something about your wife, huh, buddy? Real interesting. Can't go back there. Can't go back there. Is there anything else in here? He was eating a meal. Bedroom, pantry, kitchen. Yeah, he was, he was getting ready to move. Can we go in here? Ah, hello. He even had his trunk out. What you got in here, bud? Some shoes. Oh, size 8 shoes, maybe. Size 11. Size 11s. But it sounds like he may have hired a hit rather than done it himself, if he's involved. Okay, so that's the front door. I don't think... It's kind of a small place. Made it easy to case. Let's talk, buddy. Let's talk about your, uh, the movements so of your wife. who killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You're looking awfully shifty there, bud. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. 
I mean, we know where she went because of the the thing, the the the, the lighter. We know she went to the Bomba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last hmm. night. I said no. Did you? I rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. I mean, that looked... I feel like that was kind of legit there. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. And he's telling the truth. That that goes in line with the neighbor. I don't remember what time. I appreciate last saw that. Your wife alive. Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. Again, that lines up because the neighbor said she left the house around 10. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Getting a little shifty there, bud. Tell me about, um, we should be able to use that note for Jacob. evidence. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. Yep. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Oh, no. yes, I do. I just found the little stencil, cute little, you know, note passing thing, the death threat note. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. Why are you There's being so secretive about down, it then? Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. <gasps> oh, assaulting an officer. Yep, that ain't, that ain't going to work, playboy. Rational. Beautiful. Nice. Handled that. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Your jaw all right there, uh, there Rusty? Look at a little Rusty out here. All right, where was that? There's a phone right here, right? Let's call in, talk operator, to the operator. Dispatch. <clears throat> See where we're going to be heading next. Hopefully, we have the the update on the the license plate. Twelve forty seven. How can I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Oh. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, doctor. Operator, give me R and I. So he was playing with the bum. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. And where can I find that at? Owner is one Alonzo Mendez, of four zero two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. All yes. right. Four zero two South messages? Fremont, apartment sixteen. One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We'll send the husband in. back. All right. Well, we're hot in the trail. We've got the name and location of the person, or at least the, the owner of the car that she was last seen in. 
got details about what actually transpired. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we go to the apartment or the police station first? I say we go to the police station here. I feel like getting a little bit more info well, out of, out of Jacob is going to help. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. Sure they do. Whatever you, you tell yourself to, to sleep at night, bud. But yeah, I feel like before we head into this, this Mendez guy, if we can get like a little bit more information out of anything that might help. You always want to go armed into to an interview or into a situation with as much intel as you can get. That way you can, uh, you know, kind of back up your accusations and stuff like that. So we're going to head on through to the, uh, the police station. Do this nice little tunnel here. No traffic on the other side. Gotta love it, man. Very efficient. Got somebody on the run over there. Eventually, I, I, I think maybe at the end of the Let's Play, we should go through and we should do some of the side missions. I hope you can still do them then. That would be, uh, that'd be pretty sick if, if we could, you know, kind of finish it up that way. Let me know if you guys want to see that. I feel like sticking with the main missions is a bit more important right now, though. Gotta keep the storyline consistent, not get caught up in other random stuff. So, time to conduct an interview, baby. Should be fun. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsystem pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you okay. prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand has always worked two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you. I don't want to just get a confession if he didn't actually do it. I want to put the person who did it behind bars. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools. Like the yes, pipe. Yes, I do. The wrench that was Your used, wife was whatever it is. beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're lying. You were at home in bed while your wife was putting out to some stranger? What kind of man are you, Jacob, that you allow that? <laughs> what kind of a response of was that? You got no right talking about my wife like that. I don't. You I don't think it. he was home alone. Points to you. Home and what does whatever. text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm waiting to see here. I trust him. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You got it right. You want a confession? That's what you want. That's exactly what we want. If you did it, yes. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. The first, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me, who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. That seemed very sincere. Your marriage was over. You took her in and but she we know he's not perfect. Your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. What about your... Lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. You I'm gave her a lying. black eye. I'm telling you how it was. I don't, I don't think you're, you're being honest. Uh, not the blunt force trauma, the, the marital problems. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. <laughs> I hit Good her. Good cop, bad cop. All right? 
I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? I'd hit her. Took it for years, but sometimes a man can only take so much. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? Watching his facial cues. I think he's being straight up. I don't you think it was him. Because you found out who gave it to her. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. Well, in that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the questions. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. He didn't do it. Phelps, you failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Disturbed by the fact that I'm actually looking to catch the guy who did it rather than just put somebody random behind bars to make the, the department look good? Come on, the man. For the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. All right. Let's go see what we can find with Mendez. I don't I don't like this. I like the first guy we, we worked for. I don't I don't like this guy now. He's not uh he's not a straight shooter. Oop. I'm trying to make a U-turn here if y'all could uh, could give me a gap. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you want. So that's <laughs> oh, why no. you never sober up. Exactly. That is an awful thing to say about your daughter. Here we go. So we know Mendez was the last person with her. Assuming he's the one that picked her up from the bar. If he was driving his car, at least the car that picked her up from the bar is, is his. So we're, uh, was it apartment 14? 16? 16. Mendez. 16. Apartment 16. Okay. So we've got it. Take a look at the floor map. Looks like, oh, 16's the last one. Do we have an elevator? Nope. We're just gonna have to go up by ourselves. I think it wants us to read it. Yeah, 16. Got it. Here, the apartment's up on the top floor. Thought to put our cardio in there. Let's go, Rusty. How's your face feel, by the way? Seems so rough and tough, but when it comes to a fist fight, you can't even handle yourself. Your boy had to put in the work. Apartment number 16 into the hall. Kick the door in. Sounds good to me. Take a look around and see what you can find. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be anybody home. He's got records, there's a newspaper. Coats and hats and stuff. Looks like he was eating not too long ago. Alcohol, a key. Hmm, don't think this is any use to us. Let's see what we got going on in the kitchen. Cup of coffee doesn't look too old. What is that? It doesn't give me anything to There's go tea. on. Tea? Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything in here. Let's take a look, uh... Take a look down the hallway, then. Can't go in there. Looks like this is the only place we can go. A shoe! What size we got? Tell me it's an eight. <laughs> give me an eight, baby! Right. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. Gonna have to, to follow up on that and, oh wow, hello. Lipstick, and it's definitely been used to write on a body. Oh, match the color and brand of the body. And it seems as if we also have the murder weapon here. Absolutely covered in blood. This guy's not a very good, uh. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Not a very good murderer. You don't just yeah, come back and leave the weapons in your bedroom. 
Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. <laughs> oh, he gone. Lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get he gone. He went through here. Yep, Vendez, he went through stop here. Right there. Shoot. Why is it always rooftops, bro? We really gotta work on our car our cardio, Trev. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, Phelps. Oh shoot, he's going down the ladder. Okay. Let's slide down this. See where you he's going. He's going off to the right. He's gonna run out of rooftop here soon. No, he's not. He's got a pole. He's running across the street. Give me there. Give me there. Give me there. Get in and drive. All right. Time to chase this son of a gun down. Here we go. Wish that garbage truck could have helped us. That would have been nice of him. Whew. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. Oh my goodness, dude. He's driving very erratic. Woo! I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Okay. What are you gonna do? Bust a cap? Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Hit him and spin him out, all right. I'm trying to get you alongside him. Hit that tire, there it is. Woo! <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, your neck hurts? You're under arrest. Does it hurt, little buddy? Henry. Man. That was insane. It bounced off that other car. There were people scrambling. That was out of a... Michael Bay movie or something, bro. That was that was something else. Lock him up. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. We don't need you to. We have all the proof in the world, bro. Be a little more careful next time. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps. That's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality and helping himself. such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. I'm still the new guy. All right. Well, at least we're showing that we, we can get it done. Our first job, pretty solid, dude. 18 out of 19 clues, 8 out of 10 damage. We did a little bit of vehicle damage, a little bit of city damage, but that's all right. Case closed, baby. I need something to this pain. Got a little cutscene at the end here. What's this about? Jazz Club. 